Hello and welcome back to the channel. So, welcome to Road to 100 Summons for my 7th Fated Summon. And for now, he'll be the target. But since it's without costume, I'm not... I'm not gonna rush getting to 100. I'm gonna just take my time and go, go ahead. I'm not gonna rush it. But she would be the most, she's actually the most desired heroes from my roster, from what, from the options available now. As we already know, I grabbed Guardian Gazelle, looking forward to leveling her. I'm just chill. I'm just chilling right now and doing a few four stars and three stars before I get to any other five star. All right, so on to the oh. On to what this video, on to the summons for this video. Uh, gonna do a single pull in Underwild. All the five stars have their costumes now. Uh, let's see the four stars for her. Uh, okay, I would want the costume. Uh, let's see, I have Grumps custom, but I don't have puppies. So if I were to get her, that would be okay. I don't have Fuller Mark's custom, but don't really need it. If I get puppy, I'd be okay with that. She's a good free star. Maybe not as good as she previously was, but she's still quite usable. Uh, the only four star custom I have would be Rakamush. I wanted to level the original but still haven't gotten around to it. That each hit has 80% accuracy is really holding me back from leveling him. I have a team where I have a team with um, Telonius, that the five star that increases the amount of damage over time enemies receive. That's the main reason I was considering leveling Rakamush, along with the fact that he's fast, fast speed. I consider that he'd be quite interesting to have it with on that team but like i said the each hit has 80 percent accuracy is holding me back from actually leveling him uh griffin costume deals 20 percent damage to target target and nearby allies bypass defensive buffs with their attacks that could be quite useful i do want to pull this hero Hero's costume. Hopefully I do. Alright. So single pull here. Let's see what comes. Hilo costume. I already have that. So that will be food. Alright. Let's head over to the goblin portal. One new hero. Garrison guard. Moment of joy is the skill name. This is a cleric. 
Uh, recovers 30% health for all allies. Oh, and that's at fast speed, so that's nice. Stack max 10. All damage all allies receive is reduced by minus 5%. Okay. I can really add up once she gets goes off a few times. Summons a shield guard mega minion. 65% HP and 180% attack inherited from the caster. And those Mega Minions can be a pain. The Shield Guard Mega Minion safely cleanses the latest cleanse of the status ailment from all allies each turn. Huh. That's actually really nice. Alright. Interesting new hero there. And other featured Dima deals 400% damage to target and nearby enemies. It's quite strong. The target and nearby enemies get minus 25% defense for four turns. This effect duration resets if the enemy is healed. <laughs> but it is cleansable, so. Alright, uh, let's. Summons a sword guard mega minion. 35% HP and 300% attack. Wow. Inherited from the caster. And when enemies hit by it, they get bleed damage. 450 bleed damage over 3 turns. So that's 150 per turn. Wow. Quite strong. Alright, and we have the classic goblins there and some more garrison guards. Alright, scrolling over to the four stars. Alright, so I have boots and I have William. And I already have Goldie. Would love a second one of her. And would want this guy. Yeah, and he summons a sword guard. Mega minion. So that's nice. I would want him for sure. Alright, it's two coin pulls, so let's go ahead and do those. Hopefully I get something. I don't already have. Blue, come on. Ah, three mean. Not what you want to see. Alright, last coin pull. Ah, Balthazar. Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe I'll get something next time. Anyways, thanks for watching. Faded Summon now at 3. See you in the next video.